How's it going? Dave from Comic Book Investments. So it's Wednesday, so that means it's time for to see what I got back from CGC. And I got a lot of good stuff in this one, I must say. A lot of good stuff. Um, all this stuff is up on our website before it gets listed on eBay. It's up now, right now. You can go to our website, collectorscomics.com, and it's up there. And then it hits eBay uh, over the weekend, so that means it gives you about three days to pick through this if there's anything you want before it goes live and the rest of the world has a chance to get it. Also, we are running our very first auction. If you haven't checked it out, again, collectorscomics.com, get some really good stuff there. X-Men ones, Fantastic Four number ones, all that kind of stuff. Um, all starts at a dollar, no reserve. You don't have to worry about pesky reserves. And it ends you know, February 5th, February 6th. That's a Saturday and a Sunday. So be sure to check it out, and there's some good stuff up there. Okay, what should we start with, Spider-Man? You want to start with the bad stuff first? No, 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 overruled. We're starting with the good stuff first. All right, what do we got up first? We got, of course, the first appearance of Supergirl and Metallo. A little tidbit there. Um, I thought this would be a 4-0. It got the 3-5 three, uh, uh, three due to staining. There's um, just a lot of staining. You know how I feel about staining. It, like, you can still see the book. It still looks nice. It still looks great. But it's like, oh, there's stain on there. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, um, $21.99. That book. <clears throat> Here we got Avengers number four. I thought this would be a 3 0. Sad to say, I got a 4 5. Uh, 2469. Uh, yeah, I thought this would be a lot lower because there's like someone's name written on it and things like that, but it turned out not too bad. And then here we go. We got another one with some writing on it. Uh, Deja Vu. I thought this would be 50 to 55. Got the 50, 3299. Uh, next we got up here is Detective Comics. 241. Is this the, yeah, the weird colored, multicolored, you know, suits that he has. Pretty cool, interesting cover. Uh, I thought this would be a 7.0. I got a 7.5. So that's good. A win there. Uh, 29.99. This book is actually pretty rare and high grade, and it's pretty cool. Uh, here we go. First appearance of the Silver Surfer Galactus and all that jazz. Phantasm 448. I thought it'd be a 4.5. Actually got the 4.0. So that's 26.99. It's a pretty nice looking book. It just, you know, it is what it is, right? Win some, lose some. This book, I don't get often. I think I've had it three or four times in my entire life. And this is probably one of the highest grades I've had of this. This is the first appearance of the Scarecrow. Yes, the Scarecrow. A lot of people probably don't know that. Um, a lot of people think maybe it's Detective 73 where Scarecrow's on the cover. That's his first cover appearance and his only Golden Age appearance on the cover. Um, yes, so this is the first appearance of Scarecrow, World's Finest Comics number three. I thought this would be a 2-5. It got a 3-5. This one's the big boy of the night. This is up for uh, $5,499. It's Cool cover, but yes, first Golden Age Scarecrow. That's awesome, I like that. Let's move this. The old switcheroo. All right, now into his favorite book, Spider-Man number 43. I thought it'd be a 4-0. Got a 4-0. This, of course, is the second appearance of the Rhino, right? Or is it third or second? It's first full appearance of Mary Jane. Was the Rhino in 42 in like a small panel? I don't know. Uh, I'm drawing a blank now. Uh, this is where Spider-Man gets beat up. Yep, Spider-Man gets beat up by uh, Morbius, the living vampire. It's his first appearance. Um, this one I thought would be a 3-0 to a 3-5. It got a 5-0. Yes, it got a 5-0. Thought it ended up being nice. You never can tell. 
Some of these I'm like really close. Some, so the thing is like, like sometimes I'll look at a defect and I'm like, oh, they're gonna massively downgrade. I think this de defect is um, it, the top staple is detached. So I'm like, okay, they're gonna massively downgrade for this, but they end up not. And then of course staining, I'm always like, oh, it looks so nice. And then they massively downgrade for staining. All right, um, Fantas 4, 25. This is the second battle between Hulk and Thing. Let me say, say that again, second. Um, I thought it'd be a 5-0, got a 4-5. It says, classic cover, second, oh, second Silver Age appearance of Captain America. A lot of people think this is the first time they battle. I am sorry to inform you that is not the case. The battle in number 12. They punch each other and throw things at each other. That is a battle. All right, Fantas 4, number 55. A much better cover than number 50, in my opinion, with the ugly brown. I thought this would be a 9-0. It got a 7-5. So definitely wrong there. After looking at it, I think it could do better, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, Fans for 112. Thought this would be an 8-5. Got an 8-5. I like this cover. This is a good cover. Yes. Uh, oh, I'm not telling you the prices. I'm a moron. Um, sorry. Uh, $729. <clears throat> Ghost Rider 2. <clears throat> sorry. Ghost Rider 2. I thought I'd be a 9-2. Got a 9-2. Uh, this is up for $329. Interesting. Fun fact. So this is the first appearance... Okay, so my whole life, my whole life, you know, uh, the son of Satan, uh, I, was, I was calling him Damien Hellstorm, but he's actually Damien Hellstrom because he was in a book called Hellstorm, and so I always thought that was, that was his name. I never, Comic Tom corrected me. I, it's Strum, Hellstrom. Anyways, they had a Hulu show. It was canceled. All right. Classic cover, uh, Hulk 102. Thought this would be 8.0 to 8.5. It got uh, a 9.2. Like my pause, my dramatic pause right there. Um, yeah, very cool. This one is up for 15.99. Nice, I like it. Um, I'm a little tired. I just did a video with um, Comic Collector Geek. I believe that was his name, Alan. Um, I know him by his first name, <laughs> but on his YouTube channel, that should be up, he said, by next week or something like that. We talked for like hour, hour and a half, something like that, about comics and dealing and collections and all sorts of stuff. Um, cool guy. I like him. So shout out to his channel. Um, next, we got Hulk 102. This I thought would be an 80, got a 75, so a little over there. Uh, 479. Uh, Journey of Mystery, another great Hulk cover, Battling Thor. Although everyone knows that Thor is a wimp. You get easily, no match to Hulk. Hulk as strong as there is. I don't even know, I don't even know why he tries. Why is he even trying? He should just, you know, Hulk comes around, he should just give up. And be like, you know what, I'm done. I give up. Hulk, you're strong as it is. And that's how it should be. But I guess if you wouldn't have a comic book, then... Be very boring comic book. Um, what what grade is this? I thought this would be a five zero. It got a four five. I had this book as a kid. I bought it off the newsstand. No, I didn't buy it off the newsstand. I bought it used. <laughs> um, was that four twenty nine? All right, this one, Journey Mystery Annual Number One, which is the first appearance of Hercules. I. Got a bunch of these in. So this is not everything I get in. I have other boxes, other stuff. So please check out the website to look at the other stuff. I'm gonna tell you it's great because I'm tired of holding my hand up here. I thought it would be a 7.0. I got a 6.5 up for 14.99. But I have four other copies, three other copies. I have two five, a 5.0, and then I also have the 4.0 uh, UK variant <coughs> up as well. So like I said, I get more than this. But just check out the website if you want to see all of it. Just check out the website. Go to like browse marketplace and then go do the filter and go newest listed. And then it should load 
all these books and all the other ones that we just got in. Um, put you away. All right. Let's see if I can say his name. Oh, perfect. It's not even on the on the cover here. Oh, here it is. Um, that's interesting. It's the first appearance of Shuma Gorath. Hopefully I say that name right. They don't even put that on the CGC label. So he technically appeared, I think he was just a voice in Marvel Premiere 5. And then Marvel Premiere 9, I think he was a cameo. And then he fully appeared here. And if you guys haven't seen the Doctor Strange trailer, he's in the trailer. I thought this would probably be, what do I think this was? 8 I got an 8.5. So I never really got a very high grade of this. Like obviously A5 is great, but I've never gotten like a 9.4 or anything like that. Here we go. We got the first Werewolf by Night appearance. Um, I thought it'd be a 6.5. Got a 6.5. Uh, the Marvel premiere is up for 8.29. This one is up for 6.79. Interesting thing to note is that you probably guys don't know, but so there's a comic code up here. And it wasn't until around this period, 1972, that the comic code allowed ninjas, um, vampires, werewolves, all that kind of stuff. And that's why you have a massive boom during that time of like karate type stuff. You know, you got the master of Kung Fu, um, you got werewolf by night, you got Tomb of Dracula and so on and so forth. It's because the comic code allowed that stuff. Why they had a ban on that? I don't know. Comic code is stupid. Anyways, got Marvel Spotlight number five. First, Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider, who is not the first Ghost Rider. Um, thought it'd be 2 0, got a 2 5. So, yay on that one. And then we got a book that has bombed and stayed low. Never got the boom, or at least I don't think it did. I uh, thought it'd be 6 0, got a 6 0. 359. And then we got a few things here. Last little bit before I go. My voice hurts. Like I said, I was doing an interview for like an hour and a half or something. Then I came straight and just did this video. Uh, Spider-Man 298. Uh, yeah. First appearance of Eddie Brock in Cameo. And first Todd McFarlane art on Spider-Man. That'll be a 9 0, got a 9 6. So happy days there. That's 255. This is a, yeah, it is. A Frank Miller cover. Cool Punisher, Captain America cover, 241. That'll be 9 4, got a 9 2. I was on the edge of sending this again, and then I was just like, uh, because the difference in price, is, I think, is like $60. And it'll cost me you know, almost 30 to send it with shipping and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, well, I really believe it could get the 9.4, but on some chance it doesn't, it's not worth it. So I did not send this one in. And what did I say on that? 199 on that. Uh, that's pretty much it for the day. I'm tired. My voice is spent. Check out the website for this cool stuff. Um, and also the auction coming up. Have a great day.